Navigators, how are you today? My name is Magnar Nordahl, I am an LM captain and instructor. Today will I do something uh, different, I will review a music video, but this is a very special video, it's about an airplane. A friend of me, Knut Åsammer, he has made some uh, videos he posted on YouTube from a Spitfire simulator. And this is a full-size Spitfire cockpit connected to DCS, the popular flight simulator program. And in one of the videos he's flying formation with two other Spitfires and then they go low level in a tail chase. And an interesting part of this video is the soundtrack. This is uh, music from public service broadcasting and the name of the soundtrack is Spitfire. And I found the original uh, video and I will play it for you and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go. The birds fly a lot better than we do. See how they wheel and bank and fly? Perfect. And all in one. Wings, body, tail, all in one. Someday, I'm going to build a plane that will be just like a bird. Aha! This must be a video about Reginald Mitchell, the chief designer of the Spitfire. Let's continue. Okay, this is the operations room and this is the place where the fighter operations were controlled. So this must be a video about the Battle of Britain, I think. Let's continue. It isn't exactly a bird I'm creating, is it? This is the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine which became very famous. It was installed in Spitfire, Hurricane, Lancaster and many other uh, famous aircraft during the Second World War. It developed 1000 horsepower in the first version of the Spitfire and the engine was developed up to the double of the horsepower towards the end of the war. This is a curious old bird. Aha! This drawing is a seaplane and it must be about the Schneider Trophy racers designed by uh, Mitchell in the 1920s. And it culminated with the Supermarine S6B, which uh, let the United Kingdom win the Schneider Trophy. This aircraft set a world speed record with 655 km per hour, if I'm correct. bird that breathes fire and spits out death and destruction. A spitfire bird. <laughs> A spitfire bird. Okay, now you know why they call the aircraft Spitfire. Because it spits fire. What a strange little machine. Can't see us fit in the air without getting a kick out of it. Yeah, this is definitely a movie about the Battle of Britain. I think this movie may have been made maybe 1960s. It looks like that style, but uh, the editing of this video is great. Bird. 
So it was in the summer and autumn of 1940. A German Luftwaffe was tasked to destroy the Royal Air Force. So they launched heavy attacks against the British airfields and then tried to smash the Royal Air Force. And the Royal Air Force fight back heavily with the Spitfires and Hurricane fighters. And the Spitfires were primarily used to fight against the escort fighters, the Messerschmitt Bf 109, while the Hurricanes were used to attack the bombers. And the Spitfires had the second, secondary task to attack the bombers as well. Tiring, always stretching up for something that's just out of reach. But I'll get it. After all, what I want isn't as easy as all that. Got to do 400 miles an hour. Turn on a sixpence, climb 10,000 feet in a few minutes. Dive at 500 without the wings coming off. Carry eight machine guns. Yes, the Spitfire was a revolution when it was introduced. And it was designed as an interceptor. So it could climb very fast, it had a high top speed and an armament of six, uh, sorry, eight machine guns. The um, Achilles heel for the Spitfire was the range. It was pretty short. Hello, Hunter Leader, Hunter Leader. Death is approaching Beachy from southeast, Angels 15. Over. Bandits are now about three to four miles south of Beachy. You should see them in a minute, they're down south of you. The British had the advantage of the radar, which meant they could dispatch the fighters at the right time. They didn't have to loiter and wait. And uh, the British also had the advantage, they were fighting over their own soil. So if one uh, British aircraft was shot down or had an emergency landing and the pilot survived, he could continue to fight. While the German pilots, they were taken prisoners of war. Okay, so the name of this movie is The First of the Few. And this video by Public Service Broadcasting was uh, published 10 years ago. I don't know why I haven't heard about it before. That's pretty amazing. But okay, mixing electronic rock with a movie like this works great. I want to see more of Public Service Broadcasting. And thank you to Knut Osame for uh, tipping me off. And that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.